What's going on, you guys? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy whatever it is you celebrate. Hope you're having a good holiday season. This video might be kind of quick, because I already tried to record this video once, and my camera died without telling me, which definitely was very annoying. Um, so yeah, I kind of just sat there talking to a dead camera probably for like five minutes or longer. So yeah, I'm going to try to make this fast, but uh, this episode there really isn't much to say, so that's kind of a good thing. Uh, I didn't review the last two episodes, obviously. The short answer for the Piccolo Elimination episode and the Universe 4 episode, it should have been a really good episode, and the directing let it down. Like, Piccolo getting eliminated, Universe 4 getting erased, and yet, for some reason, the directing had no tension, no sense of urgency, no sense of drama. It was just a very light-hearted episode. Even when Universe 4 was getting erased, there was, like, nothing. You know, I didn't feel anything. There was nothing in the directing or the camera work or, you know, not literally a camera, but you know what I mean. The storyboarding was good in the episode, too. It's just the directing was just bland. It was just a bland episode. And I could have still talked about it, but I decided not to. And as far as last week's episode goes, I just wanted to cover all the Universe 3 stuff in one video. Definitely did not need to be a two-parter. And I'm... I... Okay, like, it was cool to have Seventeen have this moment, and it was cool to see everyone power up to max power, and, or not max power, but they all went into, like, their final forms, except for uh, Seventeen, he just powered up, and they all clash beams with this thing, and then Seventeen breaks through, and all that stuff's cool, and I love the moment with Seventeen, and the animation's great, and this thing even has cool powers, like warp punches, and the sonar, and stuff, but the design of this creature is absolutely horrible. It's one of the worst designs I've seen from Dragon Ball in a long time. And uh, it gets stupider when it grows wings. I didn't think it could look any stupider, and then it grows wings. But, uh, no, the first time I watched this episode, it was very distracting. Very, very distracting. And then the second time I watched it, uh, I was able to ignore it and appreciate the episode for what it was. And it is a good episode with some good animation. Uh, fun fact, over there in the staff list, uh, Yuji Hakamata, I think I'm saying his name right, uh, you can see what his name is in the staff list. He's one of the supervisors, and he's in one of the key animators. He worked on Z, and he worked on GT, so that's a cool name to have pop up. Don't know much about his art style, but it's cool to see him pop up. Uh, and then the rest of the animators there, you can see there's no really no no one really worthy of uh, really pointing out, except for um, Yuichi Karasawa, who's also one of the supervisors. And damn, that 17 artwork at the end of the episode looks so good. Holy crap, that whole scene where 17 throws that final attack... Oh, man. That was so cool. And the artwork was so good. You can see it in my screenshot. It's so, so good. Uh, and speaking of good artwork, we have the episode preview to talk about, but I'll save that. Uh, yeah, this thing has cool warp punches and sonar, and f it's fast and stuff. But it doesn't really make any sense. Like, how strong this thing is, first of all, makes absolutely zero sense. I know these robots were tough. These robots were able to hold back a... Ultimate Gohan Kamehameha, at least for a little while, and they didn't get eliminated either, but still, it's like, really? Two Super Saiyan Blues, Golden Frieza, Ultimate Gohan, and 17, and they can't push through? I mean, they're probably not using their full power, because they, they still have to fight Universe 11, but still, like, all five of them, and this thing is still pushing them down? I think this thing was way, 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 way stronger than it should have been. I don't know where it was pulling these warping abilities out of. I mean, maybe... Maybe it got some of that stuff from uh, Pepperoni or whatever his name is, but we didn't see him really fight ever, so it's hard to say if they got the powers from him or not. So, yeah, it's just a stupid design with cool but nonsensical powers, and it tried to eat them, which Whis praised, which is a, such a bad line of dialogue. Why would you... What is eating them going to do? It's either going to kill them, which will get them disqualified, or they're still in the ring because they're inside of its stomach, Unless it jumps out of the ring, but then that would eliminate Universe 3 also. So, what's it going to do? Like, sit over the edge and, like, spit them out? Like, it... I don't know why Whis praised that. That was a stupid line of dialogue. But that's a, that's a nitpick. I, I sound more frustrated that, at that line of dialogue than I actually am. It's just... This creature is just so stupid. And that's what's kind of annoying. But, yeah, it was a cool episode. Um, again, I do think the creature is kind of a sore thumb in the episode. But the team works great. 18 gets eliminated, that's story progression. Universe 3 gets completely eliminated all the way through. We get to see Universe 3's actual God of Destruction, which was kind of surprising. The storyboarding hinted at it, though, with certain angles, so that was that was fine. Um, 
Really kind of a lame design though, <laughs> just like a little devil guy, it's kind of, I don't know, he could have just been the robot and I don't know, but whatever, that's a nitpick. Uh, yeah, there's really not much else to say, good hype at the end, Universe 7 versus Universe 11. Even Jiren started talking shit, I didn't know Jiren was a shit talker, he comes in there and he's like, how was the last victory you'll ever experience, how did that feel? It's like, damn, dude, Jiren, uh, Jiren throwing some shade, but yeah, it's gonna be fun, it was gonna build up, sadly we have to wait two weeks for the next episode, but 2018 is going to start with a bang because we got Yuya Takahashi back and holy cow, holy, holy cow, does that preview look beautiful. My god, the artwork is insane in the next episode preview. It's absolutely insane. It's going to be, it's going to be something else, man. The animation and the artwork looks incredible, so hopefully it's a great episode. I don't want to set my expectations too high. It could be all in the second half or all in the first half or something like that, but we'll just have to wait and see. It just looks really great. So, uh, yeah, and Vegeta fighting him. That's interesting. Vegeta versus Jiren, because it actually looks like Vegeta's holding his own. I'm not sure how that works. I mean, Vegeta's Super Saiyan Blue being stronger than Goku, that's fine. He's trained in the time chamber by himself twice. He was way stronger than Goku in the uh, Future Trunks saga, and he's probably way stronger than him here because he trained in the time chamber by himself before the tournament, but to be able to compete with Jiren, he'd have to be way above Goku's, uh, his, like, what, times 20 Kaioken he used on Jiren? No, there's no way, there's no way Vegeta's over 20 times stronger than Goku right now. That's, that's ridiculous. So, maybe, my theory, not really much of a theory, but kind of a blind guess, we don't see Vegeta have an aura when he's fighting Jiren. And that could be an animator choice, or it could be an unfinished scene. But my thought is, what if he's using full power Super Saiyan Blue? Which is from the manga. I know, ew, gross, right? But no. Um, in the manga, full power Super Saiyan Blue is basically... It has to do with keeping the key inside your body, which is something that Whis was teaching them in the Resurrection arc. Uh, excuse me, I can't talk. The Resurrection F arc. Not in the manga, though. That, that was skipped in the manga. So having full power Super Saiyan Blue in the manga doesn't make as much sense, or at the very least it's not as satisfying, it wasn't set up properly. In the anime, it is set up properly, and I don't really have an issue with full power Super Saiyan Blue, so maybe that's what Vegeta's gonna do. The only thing that throws kind of a wrench into that theory is he has an aura when he does that big final flash at the end, and I don't think he would have an aura there if he was doing a full power Super Saiyan Blue final flash, but maybe he's not, maybe he can't maintain it, so he just... I don't know. It's total speculation, totally pulling ideas out of my ass. All I know is it's going to be a visually pleasing episode for sure. At least half of it is going to be. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be awesome. 2018 is going to start with a bang. Hopefully the content can support it, and hopefully Vegeta... There's a reasonable explanation as to why he's putting up such a good fight against Jiren when Goku was no match for him. Like, absolutely, completely slaughtered, even in Super Saiyan Blue. Kaioken times 20, so we'll have to wait and see how they handle that. But that's pretty much all I have to say. This was a cool episode. I know I dwelled on the character design of uh, whatever this thing was called. I forget the name. Uh, I started with an A. Um, whatever this thing was, I know I dwelled on the character design and the nonsensical powers, and those are problems with the episode, but on the whole, I enjoyed it. It was nice to see Universe 3 get eliminated. I think it, they could have been eliminated by Gohan in the last episode, honestly. I don't think we needed this episode. Again, it was cool to see everyone team up and go into their final forms all at once, but still, it's just the design and the stupid powers and how overpowered this thing is. It just, it, you could have eliminated them and had the Yugi Takahashi episode be this week, maybe, but whatever. The more time he had to work on that episode, the better, I say. So, whatever. Um, but yeah, with all that being said, Go ahead and tell me what you guys thought of this episode in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Both of those would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here. Click the little bell to get notifications when my videos go up. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.